Okay, my second time trying this video. All right, so I want to share what has been on my heart, and I feel like for April, um, God is really just like breaking off disappointments in your heart, and these disappointments have been preventing you from hoping the best and and in what is to come. So I know for me, like. I had a lot of times of waiting and just like waiting for God to say do this or that or like waiting for open doors and a lot of times instead of being celebrated I was like rejected and accused and um like I just had such horrible experiences in my life where um like I was just following God and doing what I felt called I was called to, but instead I experienced so much rejection, so much hurt, um, even though I did nothing wrong to people. And um, so, um, or even like just going places, like um, having those negative experiences with people or just like, you know, going on familiar paths where I was familiar with the experience. So my mind mapped out what was going to happen instead of having expectation for for the best. And I feel like, so for a long time, like I would just kind of be like, well, what's the point of trying anyways? Because this is going to happen. I'm just going to be rejected. I'm going to have a negative experience. Um, but I feel like this month, like God really wants to break off disappointment um, in your, in just in your heart and mind and soul and um you know it's like it's so easy for us to have this like foreboding of evil and what is to come like we just like what's the point anyways because this bad thing is gonna happen um but I feel like in order to even believe that we have a good future and that what God wants for us is good we have to first get rid of disappointment, get rid of, you know, just like so much hurt in our hearts. And um, I feel like a lot of times it's just learning to forgive yourself from, forgive yourself from your negative experiences, for allowing yourself to get hurt. And um, I feel like God will do that for you this month and um, and lead you into like a new atmosphere of hope and joy and so that you can go into experiences and really experience the miracles of God and the breakthroughs of God so that's that's all I have to say all right I pray that um you just have so much peace in your heart and um that you'll start to feel excited about the future because I know that um for so long I carried disappointment in my heart and because of that I wasn't able to feel excited about the future um because I just ex expected the familiar I expected rejection or I expected uh bad things to happen but God is going to just heal those places in your heart that have been hurt and he's just saying like what I have for you is good and sometimes it's just you know, quoting scripture or saying things out loud to yourself. You know, when you hear the enemy say like, well, things are just going to be the same. Nothing's going to get better. You know, you have to speak out loud what is the truth and keep speaking it until you don't hear those negative voices anymore. Because a lot of times um, those voices aren't from you or from God. They're from the enemy of your soul, you know. And, um... And if you feel like you've been accused, like the enemy is accusing you, like, look, look at all the mistakes that, you, that you've made. Um, I suggest, like, you say out loud, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And there's no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. He has no jurisdiction or authority to accuse you because Jesus has paid for it already. And so in, in God's book, you're blameless and you're righteous and you're pure in his sight the enemy cannot accuse you any longer because of that and so yeah i pray that this will really help you and speak to your heart and just pray breakthrough over you in jesus name
Amen. Okay, I can't. I think I froze. <gasps> no! This is. Jesus. Help. Oh my god, it's frozen.